what's up, Squid Kids? It's the Living Lou 98 Show. It's as I reviewed the last Splatoon. Now I've got to review Splatoon 2. So let's do this, Squidos. Splatoon is back and better than ever. Why is it better than ever, you ask? Because it's on the Nintendo Switch. On the Nintendo Switch, you could play anywhere. especially comfortably in bed, which makes the game two times better, in my opinion. But seriously, Splatoon 2 has better graphics, more clothes, more modes, a bigger story, and new newscast ladies. And one's a DJ. So fresh. Again, the single player is fun, but the multiplayer is where this game shines. Turf War is back in this game, and it's feels even better, it feels more dynamic, it feels more balanced, which is crazy to me because the first Splatoon felt perfect. I have no idea how they improved it, but they did, and it's great. Nintendo, you never fail to impress me, except for the app, but we'll get to the app a little later. Ranked mode is still a lot of fun too, but the really exciting new addition to Splatoon 2 is the new mode, Salmon Run, which is just insane. Salmon Run is the all-new mode where you work for the extremely shady Grayskull Co. Corporation to kill salmonoids and steal their unborn children. <clears throat> I mean, eggs. So basically, you and three other players are thrown onto this man-made, or should I say, squid-made island um, to fight the salmonoids in waves. And each wave, you get a different weapon. You can get a splat roller or a splatter shot or one weapon that they randomly give you. And it's different each wave. But what makes this Extra crazy are the boss salmonoids that each have their own Zelda-like weakness. One's a weird snake thingy that has a normal salmonoid attached to its tail. Another one is basically a big daddy that shoots explosive acne at you. But don't worry, I can handle this guy with skin care. And there's one that's a really huge Rihanna fan and just fights with an umbrella. When you kill a boss salmonoid, you get gold eggs and you have to uh, get a certain amount each round to meet your quota so you can get to the next wave. It sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's really fun. My only qualm with this mode is that it's only available on certain times at certain days, so you can't play it all the time. So let's talk about the app. First of all, why an app? Um, shouldn't a console have chat features built in. Uh, how could Nintendo run a game as huge and beautiful as Breath of the Wild on this tiny thing, but somehow skimped on chat? Second, I might be crazy, but the app has a schedule of maps for ranked mode and for uh, regular mode, which is fine, except for they don't have Salmon Run. Maybe I'm stupid and I haven't found it yet, but there's no Salmon Run on there when I checked, so. And lastly, if I wanted to use my phone to chat while I was playing a game, I'd use Discord or FaceTime. And you know what? I'm probably still gonna use Discord or FaceTime. But uh, the presentation is really nice. I really like the Splatnet thing. I like that you can check your stats. And I kind of wish there was that for every Switch game. So that's the upside to the Nintendo app. So Splatoon 2, in a lot of ways, is more like a Splatoon 1.5, but it's still really excellent and a great sell for the Nintendo Switch if you love Splatoon or if you didn't get to play the last Splatoon. The gameplay is still fun and fresh, no pun intended, especially considering how many different ways there are to play on the Nintendo Switch. Seriously, now I can play Splatoon 2 on the treadmill. Salmon Run is also just so fun and so hectic, and I wish I could just play it more. And the app, it's unnecessary, but thankfully I don't have any friends, so I don't have to deal with it that much. So overall, I give Splatoon 2 eight salmonoid gold eggs out of 10. <laughs>